Hi everyone, thank you so much for stopping back by my channel. This is Simpy Kiwi. I decided to do another hair tutorial since I got so many views on that previous video. So this is how I'm going to show you how I define my curls. This is freshly washed and conditioned hair. And these are the items I'll be using. And this is my favorite gel, my wet line gel. This is my homemade shea butter mix and also the oils that I mix together. First, I'm going to put in the lot of body. I'm going to rub that in thoroughly. And then I'm putting in the a little bit more of the lot of body. And I'm also putting the oils and also I will be adding my shea butter mix as well. I know this looks like a lot, but when it's cold out, you need to make sure that your hair is completely moisturized so it doesn't get too dry. And here I'm just coming out all of the kinks and tight curls in there. That's very important when you want your curls to be defined. I'm taking my goodie brush that's kind of like a knockoff Denman brush. And now I'm adding that wet line gel so I can fur further define my, my curls. And as you can see, I do have thin edges. Um, I'm trying to work on getting those back. Um, I've, my family has always had problems with thinning edges, so I try not to put too much tension on my edges. Um, Here I'm parting off a section, the shorter section of my hair, and uh, so that I can kind of get those curls in that area more defined. In this section, I'm just basically doing finger coils because I can't do a two strand twist because that area is so short. So I'm just basically doing finger coils in this area. If that's complete, I'm going to go ahead and finish up on this area and then I'm going to move on to the next section. Here I've already parted the sides. Now the key for me with having thin edges is to make sure that you don't cut your sides too short so that you have some comb over action to cover those thin edges and that's what I'm trying to do here. And that's added with a little bit of gel as well. I know it looks funky right now, but trust me, it'll look better once I'm done. <laughs> Parting up another section here and adding a bit more water. This section is still a bit short, so I'm still doing the coils, the finger coils. And that's just basically twirling the, feet, the hair around your finger so it comes into a curl pattern. Okay, that section is done. And now I'm going to go ahead and complete that and start on the next. Here I've already started most of it and I'm just basically doing two strand twists. I cut most of this out so the video won't be so long. But I'm just basically doing two strand twists in this top section here and at the crown. And a bit on the sides as well you'll see just a 
last bit of the section. Now I'm going to the sides to get that little bit of the section there to go ahead and just go and two strand twist most of that even though I'm going to lay some of that, that those sides down. I think it took about a good hour. So I'm going to bed. This is the next day. And as you can see, I'm looking like buckwheat. <laughs> but it's okay. I'm going to show you how this is going to look a bit better. I'm just loosening it up a little bit so I can take it down. Just misting the water on it, not saturating it. Then I'm adding a little bit more oil. I do this because, like I said, it's cold and I don't want my hair to get too dry. This helps it to prevent that. And then this is to add a little bit more gel towards that smaller back section back there. Once I went to bed, and of course when you sleep, those little hairs just come loose. So I'm just touching that back up. Now I'm just taking those two strand twists down. I'm wetting the edges here because like I said, I just I just um, twisted those back up to go to bed. But I'm gonna do that comb over action as I spoke earlier about. Um, so I can cover those edges. And as you can see, they're, they're pretty thin. I think it's just hereditary in my family because all of the girls on my mom's side of the family have this issue so I just work with it. It's not going to look this stiff because once it dries it does pucker or puff back up a bit. I just want to get most of those little small hairs around the, the face uh, to lay down just a bit but I know that's going to pucker up you know as it, as it dries and I'm doing this other side my right side and I've already taken that down and already combed out um, towards my face those hairs that I want to lay down a little bit to cover those thin edges this is just my technique. I mean, of course, you're gonna do whatever is comfortable for you and what your hairline is, but this is what I usually do. As you can see, it's covering up those edges, as you can see, so I'm just basically showing you that I'm let, taking that hair down, and I'm just uh, also working a little bit more gel just to get it to lay like I want it to lay on those sides. And it pretty much covers up those thin edges because like I said, don't cut your hair too short on the side so you can have that bit of a comb over um, to cover up those thin edges. And just edging those, lining that up in the front so it can be nice and neat. Who says short hair is easier? <laughs> I don't think I had this much trouble when my hair was longer. But I work with it. And this is with the twists all the way down. As you can see, it's starting to dry up on the sides and it is puckering up a little bit. Like I said, it's going to puff up a bit but just to, you know, cover up it so it won't look so thin. Here I'm using the end of the rat tail comb to give it a little bit more um, height, a little more definition, so it can look a bit fuller. And that's it, guys. Let me know if you like this video and let me know what you think. Thank you so much for tuning in and thank you so much for watching. If you're new, thank you for subscribing. Don't forget to click on the notification bell. You guys be blessed and thank you again for watching. You have a wonderful day. Bye.